Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Road. So today we are going to look at a question based on the application of Cayley Hamilton theorem. So this question has been asked in gate 1993. So we are given a 4 by 4 cross 4 matrix. This matrix A is 4 cross 4 matrix and we need to find out the matrix A4 by using Cayley Hamilton theorem or otherwise. So before proceeding to discuss the solution using Kelly Hamilton theorem, let's first look at the naive way to solve this question. So one might say that to find A4, we, what we can do is we first multiply A by itself four times and we get A4. Yes, th uh, you can get the solution by this approach also, but it will be time costly and we don't want to waste time in the gate paper. So what we up what we so this approach is time costly and we don't want to waste time in the gate paper. So what we do is so we apply Kelly Hamilton theorem. So what does this theorem tells us is that matrix A will satisfy its characteristic equation. And how do we find the characteristic equation? So, so the characteristic equation for this matrix A is given by this equation. Now let's look at how are we going to find A4 using this equation. So we are given this matrix A and we need to find A4 and we have just seen that we can do that by using this characteristic equation. How? Let's see. So this is the characteristic equation where lambda is eigenvalue. So this equation gives the characteristic equation where lambda is the eigenvalue. And according to Cayley's Hamilton theorem, the matrix A will satisfy the characteristic equation obtained here. So let's first find out what will be the characteristic equation. So we are given this matrix A and we are subtracting lambda multiplied by identity matrix. So the final determinant on the left hand side will be. So on the LHS we have obtained this determinant where lambda is subtracted from the diagonal elements. So the resultant determinant will be now pulling negative 1 from this part and this part we get 1 minus lambda 1 plus lambda i minus lambda and i plus lambda. So minus taken from this term and this term will get multiplied and result in positive 1. So finally we obtain this equation which can be further reduced if you can see that. So the two terms over here and the two terms over here are in the form of a plus b into a minus b which is equal to a square minus b square. So this 2 will result in 1 minus lambda square and this will result in minus 1 minus lambda square. Again we can see that these two terms can be reduced as 1 minus lambda square 1 plus lambda square is equals to 0. So these two terms can be reduced like this by taking minus 1 common from here and pushing it on the RHS where we divide 0 by minus 1 and the resultant will be 0. So this will in turn be 1 minus lambda ki power 4 is equals to 0. Therefore the characteristic equation obtained by solving all this is lambda ki power 4 is equals to 1. Now by applying Kelly Hamilton theorem we know that the matrix A will satisfy this characteristic equation. Therefore,
by Cayley Hamilton theorem matrix A will satisfy this equation therefore a to the power 4 is equals to identity matrix so this is a final answer so we we have seen two approaches one was the naive approach of multiplying the matrix with itself four times and obtaining a4 and the second approach is by solving the characteristic equation which we have just seen here so this is a simple approach so one extension of this question would have been to find what will be the determinant of a to the power 4 which we can see from the result that we obtained will be equal to 1. So this is the final answer. Goodbye and keep learning.